Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Better watch out. We better watch out. We better watch out. <laughs> well, say, what are you saying, Jerry? Or is that a song? <laughs> Nothing. I, I was just thinking. Well, what about? About Hansburg. Oh, you ever been in Hansburg before? No. Well, you want to talk about it, or <laughs> is it a secret? No, of course not. It's about Spike. Oh. I've kind of been wanting to tell you. Well, go ahead. I'm not sleepy anyhow tonight. Me neither. See all the excitement of seeing Mr. Bradley off on the airplane and then this ring and all. It's pretty nice of Johnny to give you that dragon ring of his. He was always sort of superstitious about that ring. Yeah, I know. Said it brought him luck in the theater. I think he really wants to pass that luck on to you. Guess I'll be kind of needing it. Hmm? What makes you say that, Jerry? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking. Come on now, Jerry. You better get it off your chest, even if it is most morning. Guess it is late at that. That was kind of a slow lot tonight. Thought we never would get loaded. Yeah, we've been pretty lucky so far this season, except that flooded area we came through. <laughs> That's one thing Randall always gets us there. Well, come on now, what's worrying you, Jerry? Well, I'm not exactly worried. But you know, I told you about Spike not being really guilty. Or at least he says he was framed on that robbery charge. Yeah, and I believe him, too. You see, it all happened in Hansburg. Oh, oh I see. Now, now, don't tell me you're planning to do a little detective work again. That's exactly it. The only man who really ought to be able to help is the station master. His name is Platt. Why didn't he help at the trial? Well, I guess he did testify Spike was working around that time, but of course he couldn't prove he was. No one could really, except the real robber. Well, did Spike get any ideas on the subject? No, that's the worst of it. And I don't want to go right up and ask Mr. Platt. No, I think I'll just hang around and maybe I can find something out. Now, listen, Jerry. Men who are smart enough to rob Uncle Sam's mail and get away with it are likely to be too dangerous to fool you. Well, you can't let an innocent man stay in jail. Spike was going to try and find out things for himself. That's why he escaped. But now that he can't, I'm going to at least try and see if I can't find a clue. Well, you better let me in on anything you do, Jerry. I wouldn't want you to stumble onto something, not have someone know what you're doing. Oh, don't you worry. I got this lucky ring. Guess that'll see me through. See, this must be quite a great here. See how slow we're going. Golly, it's as dark as pitch out. No moon or nothing. Well, it won't be long. They're dark long now. Oh, say, Jerry, this is terrible. It's most three o'clock. Say, we better turn in. Okay. He wasn't it exciting seeing Mr. Bradley off? Yes, it sure was. I'll bet he's plenty happy about seeing his son and all. And then when he threw that package out of the plane, honestly. I was so surprised. He was probably afraid you wouldn't accept the ring if he gave it to you, because you knew how much he thought of it. Yeah, that's it, all right. He offered it to me before, and I wouldn't keep it. But I guess he really wants me to have it. In his note, he said he didn't need any more luck now that he's going to be with his son and his wife. Oh, say, Jerry, you're wound up just like an alarm clock. Come on now and get into bed. We'll have to be up early in the morning. Yeah, I know. Say, Bumps, look. Uh, not now, no. I'm heading for bed. Yeah, but look. That light up there. Hmm? Yeah, hey, that's funny. There did seem to be a light up there. Well, it's gone now. That's because we're turning all these curves. See, this must be a bad grade. Oh, probably someone burning something up there at some farmhouse. Funny time of night for a fire. 
Hey there, everybody up. There's a fire up ahead there on one of the flat cars. Gee, Bumps. Hey, all hands up. We may be needing plenty of help. Well, why aren't we stopping, Whitey? Well, we can't stop in this grade. We tried to uncoupling into coaches right at start on that hill back there. And it ended up in a heap of tangled steel at the bottom. Well, what are you going to do? Well, we'll have to get to the top of this grade first, Jerry. Then we'll have to figure out our next move. Well, anything I can do, Whitey? Yeah, run on through the cars ahead and wake up all the folks. See that they're all dressed and out so as they can help as soon as this train gets to level ground. I sure will. I'll be right back as soon as I wake up. Yeah. Uh, what car's on fire? Uh, it's the props and wardrobe wagon. But there's a stiff breeze blowing and those flames are heading back for the horse cars. How many cars back at the one that's on fire? Yeah, about seven, I think. Well, how'll be loaded? Well, all the baggage stock are directly back at the fire. And then the ring horses are in the next car. Well, can't have a circus without horses. We won't have to. We'll save those horses. I hope you're right, Bumps. But that blaze back there is getting planned to fever heat. Well, how long before we get up this hill? Seems like we're getting on the level now. Look at the sparks fly out that window. I call all the folks in the cars ahead. They're getting up, Whitey. Uh, it looks like we've reached the top. You see, we're, we're gathering momentum. Yeah, we'd better get there soon if we're going to save any of the horses. But, but isn't there something we can do? Yeah, not a thing. There's no way of getting past that car that's on fire. We don't dare open the door into it for fear the current of air will fan the fire and make it worse. Oh, that's fierce. We just got to get Splendor and the rest of them out in time. Gee, Whitey, they don't know what's happened. They'll be scared to death. Oh, steady, Jetty. Jerry, my boy, we're, we're going to need all the help we can get just as soon as this train stops. Well, how could it have happened? Yeah, a spark must have got into the car some way from the smokestack and somehow ignited something. Oh, well, we can't just stand here and not do anything. Oh, no, Jerry, now take it easy, boy. You know you always kept your head before when we've been in danger. Yeah, but we could do something then. Now we're just waiting. For what? We're stopping. Gee whiz, we're slowing down. Sandy said for one of us to uh, get out there on the north side of the train. He'll be out there as soon as we stop to take charge. Oh, there's nothing worse for a circus than a fire. Now, come on, folks, we're stopping. Remember, wait for your orders and keep cool. There's no danger for us, but we've got to save those horses. You bet we do. And take it easy, folks. Hey, it sure is blazing. Uh, hey, we got any water? Oh, uh, out in the middle of nowhere. Dark as pitch. Doesn't look like there's water or anything else. Yeah, it's dark, all right. Uh, here comes Sandy with a brakeman and some lanterns. Well, from the looks of things, we're going to have plenty of light. Fire light. All right, men. I'm afraid we'll have to uncouple that car and then try to get the fire out. Can't leave it close to them horse cars, not with those sparks supply. flying. You'll have to hurry or it'll be too late. It is too late. Hey, look, the car at the baggage dock is on fire. Come on, hey, come on. Hey, quick, we got to get that fire out. Sandy, take your men and then couple the cars. I'll try and lead the horses out of the cars that's on fire. Now, come on, Jerry. You know these horses. You bet I'm a-coming. Hey, it's awful hot close to these cars. It sounds like the stampede. Uh, one of you men, uh, get any rags or anything you can. We may have trouble leading these horses out and need some blinders for them. Yeah. Thank goodness this door's on the other side, away from the fire. Uh, help me open up this car. All right with you, boss. Here. I can manage these three horses. Now, lead them over that clump of trees and tie them up there till the excitement's over. Okay, Waddy. Lucky these horses are loaded on the cars with their halters on. Yeah, I'll take these, Waddy. How many in this car? Uh, Twenty-seven head. All right, men. Take two at a time and follow Jerry and Bunks there. They'll show you where to tie them up. Come on. They're scared to death. Well, it's lucky it's the baggage stock instead of the high school horses. Yeah, those high school horses are lots jumpier. Well, I'm sure glad Splendor's not in this car. I've often felt sorry for these poor nags traveling all night with their halters and things on them, but I must say at a time like this, it's lucky for them they do travel in harness. Yeah. Oh, here. Here, I guess this is the clump of trees Whitey wants us to tie them up to. Yeah. Come on. Take it easy there. Come on. Hey, hey Jerry, help me with this nag, will you? You got yours tied up all right. Well, now, Maude. Kind of nervous, huh? <laughs> she certainly knows your voice. Do you know all the names? Well, for near. Yes, I are. Come on, Frank. Water Come on, day and night. Well, that's right, fellas. Tying up right here. Jerry and I will go back for another load. See, that's getting to be quite a blaze in the horse car. See, Whitey and some of the men are fighting with blankets. Mm, it's funny they haven't got those cars uncoupled yet. Right. We better hurry. One of you run up the engineer and have him back up just a little. This pin is jammed. We can't get it loose. I'll go, Sandy. You hear that, Bumps? Golly, I was afraid something was wrong. It's sure going to be tough working tomorrow with a car of props and costumes going up in smoke. Maybe they can save some of them. Not if they don't get that blaze out pretty soon. Whitey, what do I do next? Uh, here, help me out with these last horses. The fire's sure getting hot. <laughs> Come on, Jesse, girl. You'll be all right. Sure. You don't think Whitey let anything happen to you, do you? Uh, I'll take those, Whitey. You better get that blaze under control. Sounds like there's a wind coming up. No, that'll be the last straw. See, looks like we are in for a blow. Look out, everyone. They're going to bag those cars off. Bad business in this wind. Look at the way the flames are blowing back over those horse cars. One spark and a whole lot will be going next. He seems like we no sooner save a couple of them than the rest are in danger. Now listen, you guys, take those blankets back to the sleeping cars and get them soaking wet. We'll put them on top of the hottest horse cars. Get going. Okay, boss. Give me a couple of blankets. I can run pretty fast. All right, here you are, Jerry. And get back, quick. Watch out. The bags are up. Blaze 
same thing as jam, Sandy. What do we do? We gotta get that pin out, or we can't uncouple those clouds. I'll bet the blacksmith might have something that'd knock that thing through. Come on, see if you can dig him out. And one of you men go on up the engineer and see if he's got something we can use. We'll be burned in our tracks if we don't get this coupling loose. Listen to that wind. Here are the blankets. All right, crawl up on that car and spread them out, can you? Yeah, of course I can. Watch me. Whew. Say, these cars are hot. Yeah, I'll say they are. Now, come on, men. Hand Jerry those blankets and give him a hand. Hey, now, kid. Uh, hey, Sandy, had any luck yet on coupling those cars? Oh, do I do? No, the blame things are jammed. Yeah, we certainly seem to be out of luck tonight. Uh, here you are, Sandy. I got a sledgehammer for you. Okay. Man, get this thing working. Okay, oh, right, Sandy. Oh, only two more blankets. No, right? there aren't any more. It's all we got. Doggone this pits. And now, look out there. Looks like we can break through it now. Oh, uh, we got it. There it goes. Oh, thank heavens it's loose. Tell them to push those hog cows away. Back up out ten feet. Tell the engineer to back up ten feet. Back up ten feet. Now we'll get the other side loose. As soon as they push these rear cars far enough back so they won't catch fire. Whoa there, that does it. Hey, don't forget there's a grade back there. Don't let those cars get pushed too far back. No, don't worry. We got them. Got to get them out of reach of those fogs. They got it. That black car's loose at last. All hands stand by and help beat out these flames. But send word up the engineer to pull the front cars ahead. Okay, Sandy. I got some branches from the trees to help beat out the flames. That's a ticket. Grab sticks, anything. Get on the east side of the fire. The winds are coming from the east. Sandy! Say, punks, they're both on that car. 